from St. John's. Today I just want to go over our Ash Wednesday project that all kids and families can do together and let's get started. If you've been to church the past couple weeks you probably have one of these Lent take-home bags. They're full of all kinds of goodies. Inside this bag you'll also find a set of instructions to do this. This is also linked in the blog post, so anybody can just click the link from home and get started. Even if you don't have a Lent take-home bag, all you need is some clay and these instructions to get started. Any type of person you make is gonna be awesome. It doesn't have to look like these ones. It doesn't have to look like this picture, and it doesn't have to look like what Alice and Anne made. That being said, let's watch them make their own. Oh my goodness, aren't they so fun to watch? So all of our clay figures got made here at church and here they are right now. And I'm gonna take a second and color them in with different skin tone colors. So why don't you do the same? One note is that this is gonna take several steps. You're definitely gonna have to form your clay person and let them sit and dry for several days. Even now, this still has a little squishiness. This clay completely dries solid in three full days. So once you've created your clay figure, you can let it sit and hang out. You can think about who that clay figure is, where they came from, what they like to do, what their name is. Um, and then about three days later, once they're fully hardened, you can go ahead and use your crayons that are in your Lenten bag to color them in. Mm -hmm. So here's our first little person. And one of the things that's really cool about working with clay is we can shape and form these clay figures into really anything we can imagine. It doesn't really matter what you decide to make. Amos made some turtles. Issa made these really cool flat people. Um, everybody might make something totally different and it might not look like this at all, and that's fine. But something that we can think about as we're crafting these little clay figures is Maybe where are they from? And what is their name? And what do they like to do? And what does their family look like? And what kind of home do they live in? And what kind of challenges do they face in their lives? How old are they? Do they go to school? Do they work? All of these things help us to start to connect to our little clay figure. And also remember that we are kind of like God's clay figures. God has crafted and molded each one of us with a beautiful, specific set of gifts, limitations, and ideas, and passions, um, and that we are all important and special and specially made by God. And Ash Wednesday brings us into Lent, Lent, which is a season that we get ready to enter the mystery of Easter. And so if you've been here over the last couple of weeks, we've been talking a lot about the different seasons of the church year 
and how Lent is this preparation season, a season that is purple. Purple is the color of kings, and Jesus is our king, and something really important is about to happen to Jesus the king. And so we take this time in Lent to prepare ourselves to enter the mystery of Easter. And one of the ways that we're going to begin to think about that is by just playing, playing with clay, playing with these items in our bag, because God gives us everything that we need to come close to him. God is near all the time. Remember that all of these things are just ideas. You can take them and use them how they work best for your family. You can catch up later in the week if you don't make it on Ash Wednesday, it's okay. There's no right or perfect way to do this. This is all for us so that we can come closer to God and start to appreciate this season where we let go of some of the things that hold us back from being with God more often in our day-to-day -day lives. And finally, I'd just like to offer you a prayer. So if you'd like to pray with me, this is a prayer for Ash Wednesday. On this day of ashes, we remember where we came from. The Bible tells us we came from the dust of the ground. Science tells us we came from the stuff of stars. May we believe in the mystery of both. We came from dust and from stardust. We are both. At the end of our lives, all living things return to the earth, including us. Our spirits belong to God now and forever. Amen.